Hurricane Aaron, the first hurricane of the Atlantic season, isn't done intensifying. In fact, it will be rapidly intensifying as we go through the weekend and in the early next week. It will be a major hurricane as it moves east of the Bahamas as we head into early next week. Now, the first fork in the road with Aaron. That will have a huge implication on whether this gets close to the east coast of the United States or if it goes well to the east. Is going to be that period Sunday into Monday. How quickly does Aaron turn to the north? If Aaron slows down this weekend, it is more likely it doesn't take that northern track but stays a little farther off to the south and to the uh, southwest. If it takes that southwest track, we still don't think it's likely to make a landfall along the east coast of the United States, but I'll tell you what, it can get awfully close. Now, we don't think that's going to be a landfall because by Wednesday, there's a dip in the jet stream coming into the Midwest and Northeast that should steer Aaron away from the United States. But if it takes that southern track, even with that dip in the jet stream, it can get close enough, especially to the Outer Banks of North Carolina, for some rain and wind. Now, regardless of the exact location, Surf, well, rough surf, perhaps even damaging surf, and rip currents will occur up and down the eastern seaboard. Remember, this is going to be a powerful hurricane and a large hurricane that is going to be able to move a lot of water along the east coast next week.